What's going on, guys? Welcome back to WWE Network and Chill, where every single week I Graham Jason Matthews break down all the original content I watch on the WWE Network. Today, we're talking the latest edition of WWE Ride Along, entitled Takeover Throughway, that aired after Raw this past week. Um, this episode features Aleister Black and Ricochet in one car, and then Heavy Machinery's Otis and Tucker in the other. This must have been taped back in March because they're leaving the Fastlane pay-per-view in Cleveland, which took place in early March of this year, uh, for Raw and Pittsburgh the next night. It's about a two-hour drive. And at this point, Aleister Black and Ricochet, of course, were a tag team, so they recall, to start off the show, their hectic road schedule. Because at that point in time, being a tag team, they were still in NXT, but also doing the main roster. Not only were they doing the main roster, they were on Raw and SmackDown like every episode, every fucking week. So they were doing the pay-per-views, they were doing fast lane, Elimination Chamber. I don't know if they were at Elimination Chamber. I think they were called up the night after that pay-per-view. But they were on fast lane. They were at WrestleMania. They were doing Raw every week. They were doing SmackDown every week. And if they weren't on the show, they were doing the dark matches. And they were also doing NXT and house shows for both brands. So they had a hell of a road schedule at that point. But they made it work, and they were getting over on all the shows they were competing on. Meanwhile, in the Heavy Machinery car, they talk about their college wrestling careers. We see pictures of them wrestling in college. Ricochet and Black talk about doing DDP yoga, which I think is more of a Ricochet thing. I think Ricochet does it more than Black does. I think Black just did it as part of the Diamond Dallas Page seminar at the Performance Center earlier this year. But I guess Ricochet has been feeling a bit hurt now for a while. Like, it's not a recent thing, I don't think. He didn't make it sound like it was a recent thing. He's been feeling hurt. He's been, you know, his back's been hurting. His knees have been hurting. I mean, the guy fucking jumps off of everything. He's one of the most acrobatic guys in the entire company, so I guess I can't say I'm surprised. Um, and you're bound to feel hurt eventually. But DDP yoga and doing the stretching and stuff like that has really helped, he said. Uh, kind of on a related note, Heavy Machinery talk about their workout regimen in their car and we see pictures of them uh, we see pictures of them working out, stuff like that, what works for them. Uh, Black and Ricochet recall wrestling for the first time ever against each other at a show in Germany in 2003, over 15 years ago, and you have to see this footage. I don't know what promotion it is. It's like XXW fucking something like that. Um, Ricochet has the black hair that we all know and are familiar with because the guy had hair up until like a couple years ago. Alistair Black with long hair is a sight to say. He looks so weird with like long, normal looking hair. And this was again over 15 years ago. He looks much more like a badass now with the uh, shorter mohawk like hairstyle. But man, Alistair Black with the long hair is something you have to say. Uh, they also talk about wrestling in ICW and in progress against each other and stuff like that. Um, Otis looks up Tucker's old mustache gimmick that he had before Otis came to the Performance Center a couple of years ago. Tucker was doing a gimmick called All Night Tucker Night, where he had this, like, porn star mustache and a gimmick at the time. Uh, it was, again, completely ridiculous, probably even more ridiculous than Aleister Black having longer hair. Um, he just looked totally weird. But I guess he was doing that for a while. Clearly, that did not click. Um, he would come out pretending he was like the hottest thing in the room when he clearly he wasn't. It obviously did not work. And the heavy machinery thing obviously worked for him a lot better than that did. Ricochet talks about having a big butt for some reason. And now he has to get a certain size of pants. And it's at that point we see them get pulled over by the police. So we'll never know what the end of that conversation would have sounded like. With Ricochet talking about his physique and his butt size for some reason. So more on that in a second. Um, meanwhile, Otis and Tucker go through a booth, like one of those toll booths on the highway, and Otis, like, tries to flex to the person in the booth, but they don't notice him, and he's a bit, you know, let down by that. So anyway, uh, Black and Rick Ricochet get pulled over. I don't think it's because they were going fast. Black did say at one point, and he's like, oh, I'm going to, like, 100, which is really, really fast, but I don't think that's why they were pulled over. I think they were just pulled over because, um, the cops saw the camera in their car. And he was like, what's going on here? So they get pulled over. We see the conversation with the cop. I didn't think they would show because they got, they, they, they cut it off to heavy machinery in their car when we see the cop approaching Black and Ricochet. But we see the rest of that conversation and what that ended up, you know, looking like. Uh, the cop's face is blurred out. And he was just wondering why there was a camera in the car and what the hell they were doing. 
And they explain, hey, we work for WWE. We're recording a show called Ride Along. And, of course, the cop is like, oh, did you jump off the top rope tonight? Sounded like a complete ignorant asshole. He's one of those type of people. He sounded like a total douche. And Black and Ricochet were really nice about it. But the guy just sounded like a fucking jackass. Um, so we see that. Tucker talks about his daughter just being a great dad. Um, Black and Ricochet on a related note talk about how supportive their parents were of their wrestling careers and Ricochet, I, I had no idea, is a dad. He talks about how he just wants to inspire his son, um, be just a big influence on his son. But yeah, he has a kid. Uh, I have never seen any pictures of Ricochet with his kid. It must have been obviously from a former marriage or something. Because um, he didn't have a kid with Casey Cat and Zaro. So I don't know where that kid came from. But yeah, he's a dad. And the kid looks like at least he's a couple years old. So that's cool. Um, Heavy Machinery gave credit to Scotty Too Hotty for obviously Otis doing the whole worm thing. And... Otis recalls the origin of him doing the worm and how growing up no one wanted to dance with him in the high school dances, so he would get down, do the worm, and that's how we got popular in school. I have no idea whether that's actually accurate, but it was just funny to hear him tell that story. Um, anyway, Ricochet talks about how he feels he's found his person, his match, his one, in Casey Cadenzaro, and he just praises her and how great she is for him and how happy she makes him, all this other cool stuff, and how he just feels he connects with her. Now, Alistair Black's in a very similar place. He said that he was always that person who said that he would never get married, never have kids. But then all it takes is that one person to change all of that. And he found that person in Zelina Vega, who he said touches his soul. The exact words that Alistair Black said. Something I never thought I would hear him say, but it was really cool to hear him say it. Um, and he ends up calling Zelina, too, on the phone. I guess she's in another car, not doing ride along, but she's also on the way to the same hotel because we see her a little later on in the episode, at the end of the episode, arriving at the same hotel that Black and Ricochet are at. And they're just on the phone shooting the shit about how Zelina Vega hit R Truth as a super kick at the same pay per view that they competed on at Fast Lane. And Black says that his dad is in like love with Zelina Vega, his wife, and how she sent him a picture of him kissing a dolphin. She sent a picture to Alistair's dad of Zelina kissing a dolphin, and he said, Oh, how lucky. I wish I was the dolphin, or something dumb like that. And then Alistair Black goes, Oh, dad. Like, you know, just dumb shit like that. I just thought that was hilarious. Um, Otis talks about Mandy Rose and their weird fascination. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. That was something that dated back to NXT. Um, yeah, just very, very strange. Mandy Rose wants no part of Otis, as we saw on her episode of Ride Along a while ago, but Otis has this weird fascination with Mandy Rose, dating back to their days in NXT for whatever reason, so we have to have the obligatory Mandy Rose mention here on Ride Along from Otis. Also, I forgot to mention this, Zelina also brought up on the phone when talking to Alistair that um, when she mentioned the super kick that she did to R-Truth the fast lane, that people were tweeting her about it and she was just thinking about how, you know, people had actually brought up like, oh, is that a, is that a result of the training that you're doing right now with Alistair Black? So they bring that up and they show the footage of Zelina and Alistair training together. Meanwhile, Heavy Machinery freestyle in their car and do a pretty good job of it too, at least, you know, at, at least Tucker does. And then they all arrive at the hotel, Alistair Black meets up with Zelina Vega, and then Heavy Machinery also arrive and then eat their food before walking into the hotel. So a very entertaining episode, as always, of Ride Along Takeover Thruway. Be sure to check it out on the WWE Network, featuring Alistair Black, Ricochet, and Heavy Machinery. This show never disappoints. Some episodes are better than others, but I thought this episode in particular was very entertaining. And of course, guys, thank you for checking out this episode of WWE Network and Chill. Very much appreciate the support. Be sure to like the video, drop a comment, share the video, and subscribe to the channel for more content. We'll be back this weekend with my review of Season 2, Episode 2 of Ms. and Mrs., which aired this past week on the USA Network. Until then, guys, have a great rest of your weekend. I'm Graham Jason Matthews, and I'll catch your ass down the road.